It's a beautiful new day. Um, gonna start off the grind. I think I'm just gonna hop right into Rosie. I don't feel like I want to use the Adventure Scroll because we're so limited on those at the moment. I do believe the Deep Wildy one does work there. Um, because I noticed the fact that when is Deep Wildy hotspot, you get drop rate on Rosy. So I feel like that should work fine. And then we could use like a minigame boost and stuff. Gonna cost a little bit of money. 5.4 trail at the moment. Gotta sell my doppel and all of that, and then we can buy the uh, Fangs of Mendonatus. Which is also why I think doing a bit of Rosy is not a bad idea. Even if we don't get any of the, you know, omega huge drops. Um, it's still gonna make us some money in some way, shape, or form or another, you know? Whether it be just buying point mystery boxes or fucking Karamja Gloves tree, all of that. So there's definitely some options. And... With that, we won't really have to rely on any of the other items. We spent quite a bit on all of that, but I think that might be worth it if we get lucky. <laughs> and then it pays for itself. Gotta get lucky though. Um, yeah, hope that made sense. Not very coherent, I just woke up. But uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good idea. Basically, when I spend my entire bank on that uh, Fangs of Fananades, I'm gonna lose most of my upgrades, right? I'm not gonna be able to pure PK with a Bark X and a Double anymore because I sold them. So something like Karazi, where I don't need any outsider items, not a bad idea. Now once we get the actual bow and we have a little bit of money on the side, we could also, you know, just start doing Blood Slayer again and stuff. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. Let's go hop on the island, shall we? Actually, I just remembered, someone told me that you can get Adventurer Scrolls a different way, which is through Boost Packs, which if I'm not mistaken is from Donator Tickets, 15k of them. Let's just give that a try and see. What kind of, ooh, that's still a lot of money, bro. 15k, is that expensive? Damn. Before I make a big purchase like that, let's double check it real quick. Did this one boost back five? Gives five random boosts. Why is there a point mystery box in there? I don't like the sight of that. That better be like 10,000 of them. Uh, I don't know what that red scroll is between the minigame one and the super luck scroll. I believe, yeah. Like a dark red one? Looks similar to this, but dark red. But yeah, it is 15k, so that is quite expensive. I don't think that's worth it with like our current bank value and whatnot. Might keep that in mind for the future though, but since we're so close to getting the fangs, and my buddy is waiting on me to buy it from him, because those fang of fan and others are now holding him back from purchasing his own fortune genie that he's been saving up for four days. So I do want to get it done ASAP, so we're just gonna go ahead and snipe a little sun spear from jungle demon then we'll be super happy and stuff wish me luck oh okay can't do that with a pet out i i really don't like how this one bank all items doesn't bank your pet not a huge fan of that like and always manually claim it or pick it up first tiny 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 bit annoying oh there's someone over there scary all right so with all the trading sticks we collected last time we should now be able to purchase a, a Dragon Defendor and the Karamja Glovese number 3. So that will be real nice. That should increase our DPS quite a lot and we have a decent amount of DPS bonuses. We don't have that many on us to be fair, like right now, but a decent amount. Shiloh Village tab in case I got a dip, he cares, whatever. Uh, we still need to get like a dark bow, but if we're gonna camp jungle demon, I don't think it will take too long to get that. Now I just need to purchase a few prayer pots and we're good to go. I oh, ran right into a jungle titan. Always gotta kill those just in case we end up getting a boots or chaps for the collection log. You never know. Or an AGS, that would be fun for PA. Well, first jungle demon of the day and there's our much wanted dark bow. Very nice. I feel like I've gotten too spoiled from having a totem and a chaotic rapier and all of that shit last time because I just saw my max hit was like a 48 and I know I'm lacking the adventure scroll which is a fair share of damage but uh, it's so much lower than what I've gotten used to from the last Karazi session it's uh, crazy but we'll have to persevere and just you know get through it until we get better stuff chaotic rapier is just fucking insane compared to like it's crazy because you got K3 gloves or the hasta but Chaotic, chaotic Rapier is just significantly better. I don't know how else to bring it to you. It just is. It hits like 68, 69 if you're fully boosted and stuff. Let alone with like Jungle Totem and stuff and you can get faster gear. Obviously this still has potential upgrades as well, but 
even with a jungle totem, it wouldn't hit as high as a uh, rapier. And unfortunately, I don't think that gloves gives like accuracy or anything. It's just damage. So, yeah, let's open some chaotic M boxes. Of course, outside of the Sun Spirit, this is gonna be KC number 100 as well. Nice little milestone. All right, KC number 100. No announcers, unfortunate. There's actually some really funky stuff going on here on the island. Some kind of bug with drop rate, because my screen says I'm at 130%, which is honestly fucking impossible. Because the boost I have are 10, 25, and another 10, which is 45% alone. And then I believe your base account, even without a pet, can already get like an extra 10% or something. Yet it's stuck at 130, that makes no sense. It feels like such a waste of money. Which one isn't fucking working? You know what I mean? Damn. Plus, it just significantly lowers my chance of actually getting the Sun Spear. Because I'm missing so much drop rate bonus. Kinda sad about that. Already reported it, but that's obviously not gonna be an instant fix. Well, just turn into a deep wild hotspot, so at least we get 25%, which does work, so that's nice, but still severely lacking some. I should be at like 175 or something like that. Bit of a bit of a shame. Oh my goodness, someone just used the well for double slayer points. I knew it was there, and my plan was to activate it myself with money on Metal Raymon. Um, so we could trigger that and get it, but someone already did. I am just gonna finish these last 11 minutes, it's not that big a deal. But then we're gonna jump straight into Blood Slayer, pop an elixir, use half task, take it thingy my bob, you know, and just go really, really hard on Blood Slayer for at least an hour. Um, I do feel like we should be able to get the required amount of Blood Slayer points for the pet within a singular hour at this point. 2.2k points in an hour, but this time with an elixir, so we have 8 times Blood Slayer points, of course, orb in the POH as well. So, yeah, I think I think that should be pretty doable. And that's just gonna up our money making a lot. I, think, I feel like that was gonna be a really great starting point for when we get the bow and just start making money through more blood slay with the willy uh keep wanting to say willy worm man uh web weaver bow jesus uh <laughs> with the blood slayer beast for keys i feel like that's gonna be pretty nice i also found out the icon isn't even a collection log uh, slot for the blood slayer thing and you need to do thousands of tasks it's so not worth it for the icon to pay itself off basically it's pretty bad um, so I'm not gonna buy that, just gonna go for the log after that, you know, go for the blood relic, all of that stuff. Curious to see how many points we can get in an hour, but before I get started on it, once I'm done with Razi, I'm gonna see if I can just buy the fangs first so we can get the bow to do the hour with. I feel like that's gonna benefit us quite a bit. We'll have to see. 10 more minutes, couple more jungle demons. Kills an hour here are extremely slow, about to hit 110 KC, so... 13 KC since I've come here in total, it's, it's not great, I'm not gonna lie, but I also killed some like jungle titans and shit along the way. Could have gotten more, but it's definitely not gonna be much more than like 20 KC an hour, and for how rare the Sun Spear is, I think we have quite a grind on our hands. Might be ideal to just do Naza for better gear first or something, I don't know man. Alright, final kill all with all, 113 KC, I think I started with like 97. So what, 16 kills in total? Not a high amount at all, I mean the gear isn't the best and the hosta is honestly disappointing with how many zeros it hits. But we, we are gonna have to gr get lucky on some chaotic boxes and stuff, right? That just is what it is. That's the spear map might be half the easy to do. Maybe next time we'll do a nozzle trip, but I'm not gonna get a bone key right now. I want to jump on that blood slayer grind. Uh, I might sell my doppel to myself and just sell it for the same price again when it comes to buying and selling items for myself with Metal Raven, it is never with the intention of, oh, I'm trying to profit or anything. It will always just be to speed something up. For example, I'm tempted to buy the double from myself, 3.5 trill, and I'll just put it back in the trading post for 3.5 trill on Metal until that eventually sells. But that way you can just slow sell and I don't have to worry about it. If I do that, then we can move on and in this case, purchase the Fangs of Fen and others, very likely or close to, uh, and get started with Blood Slayer. The time constraint is the difficult thing because someone already activated the well and I don't want to waste too much time going for it. Because even once the elixir is out, we have three hours of double or like half Slayer tasks, so I feel like there's still a lot to be gained even if we continue after that point because the well is still going to be double points. 
Um, yeah, I am gonna have to rush here a little bit. I don't wanna waste too much time. Uh, gonna have to get on here with Metal Raymond and use him as a mule as well, because there's just too much crap. So, Bork X and Double, 4.2 Trill. By the way, Razi was nothing, and like in the end we didn't see anything, also not from Jungle Titans or nothing. That is fine. Uh, 4.2 Trill from this, that will bring us to 10.2 Trill, so not much over. What I think we're gonna do is just buy the Fangs from him for 10 Trill, and I'll owe him 1 Trill. I, it's not ideal, it's not what I would have preferred, but... I feel like it's definitely gonna take me more than an hour to make a frill back. So like, I want to get started on that Blood Slayer and I would preferably do so with the uh, Web Weaver bow. So I think we're just gonna do it through that way. Um, it is what it is and then I'll just owe him a trill as soon as I get a trill back. Whether, no matter how that's done, I'll just give him the additional trill. And this way he can also buy his 4 Genie without waiting much longer for me to, you know, do stuff. Uh, so it's a win-win for both of us, but it's mainly due to time constraints. I hope you guys can forgive me. Uh, it's only a trill, it's not that much. I'm, I'm, I'm not like borrowing a fucking fortune genie to go get doubled Scotizo crystals here. It's not, hopefully not that big a deal, but if you guys do make a big ruckus about it, you really dislike that I'm doing, you know, like a, a trill on, on a loan basically, let me know and I'll keep that in mind for future similar situations. Alright, we have Mr. Joachim here with a beautiful Fangs of Ananadis for us. And we, uh, well, he has to grab it first. Let me go grab my Scotizo uh, bow as well. Just so we can make it instantly. And with that, I will have to owe him another one trill, so 10k bags. But we'll work on that ASAP. I'm not gonna make any big purchases until we pay him off. Uh, yep, there it goes. Beautiful. Yeah, if the double didn't sell, then I wouldn't have to all that money, man. But I bought it for myself. Just notice, but we are full on missing one Hunter Slayer thingy. That's weird. I mean, I know that's the one I'm getting today, but that doesn't add up in my head. Oh wait, we're on day 7. Day 8 is gonna be the next elixir. Should not already have had 3 by now then. Nah, I guess not. No, I guess it does make sense. Um, yeah, I think we have everything. Need to go home real quick and purchase ourselves. A Slayer Ticket, Slayer Speed Pass, we love speed. Um, and with that, I think we have everything required. I, I will have to change my preset real quick after, but that should only take a couple of seconds. So the well is still active for like two hours, I had to do some IRL stuff real quick, figured I would get that done and then we can focus on this for like at least two hours. And hopefully uh, it will pay off and we can see something nice, maybe some Ring of Vigors and stuff. We're gonna have to make that money back after all, but Laren's Key should be nice. And most importantly, just getting the Slayer points. So let's get started. This motherfucker trying to PK me. Okay. Well, that was a try. I got a Barrel Chest War Axe real quick. And as Superior is about to spawn, 27 KC, nice log slot. Already absolutely loving this bow. These hits are crazy high sometimes. Of course, as I start recording, I hit a bunch of relatively low numbers, but like 140 pluses and shit. It's really, really nice. And then with the anti-PK, it's really strong for that as well. Just great. First Chaos Elemental kill of today, and I instantly get a Ring of Vigor. Hope I don't get PK'd for it, but that's really nice. I did not get PK'd for it. Right, about 18 minutes in and we are already at 6.1k points, going extremely quick. Just finished a Demonic Gorilla task, I do want to do a variety of tasks, get my KC up on things, collection log progress, all of that, so no longer just skipping until crazy archaeologists and chaos elemental pop up, I'm trying to do as much as possible. Got ourselves a Mr. PP on us, yay. Get a spec right away right there. 51? Damn. <laughs> Man said sit, really? Damn. You must be really good at beginning to say sit to a PVMer. Good job, buddy. So this Callisto is about to finish my 10th task. So 10 task streak, right? Look at the wonderful amount of points you get from that. 30. <laughs> 30 Blood Slayer points for a 10 task streak. But every other task I get 120 because that is actually influenced by the buff we have. Just find that funny. All right, for the last couple of tasks, I started skipping a few of the longer ones. They do consume quite a bit of time sometimes. 
uh, think of. And a Nodis, lots of zeros on that for some reason, it's just really tanky against range it feels like. Uh, Blood Hydra is not ideal also because you have to run 10 wildy levels every after, after every task, and it's also pretty rough to kill, it takes a minute. Um, so some tasks like that in Wildy Worm, obviously, because it's always camped. But uh, we're doing pretty good. Another task done right here. Still no pure IV. All good. And we are literally 31 points off now. So after this next task completion, we will purchase our first big Blood Slayer item. Next ring of vigor. And there it is. The last NPC to be slain with a fairy pet for Blood Slayer. Here we go. Another vigor, please. The drop rate is stupid high, to be fair. Get them so often. Not this time, but I mean, we still got one in the task, so not bad. And now we can purchase for 7,500. I, I do believe it's a collection lock slot in this case. The Blood Slayer Beast Pet. 5% damage on Blood Slayer targets, so we'll deal more damage. More blood money. Blood Slayer gear bonus increased, but we would have to purchase that first at some point. 25% drop rate on Blood, blood Slayer Beast Boss. I don't know if we'll ever touch that. And 35% chance for two times Larian key stacks with the scroll. That is the most important part. Beautiful. And there we have it, our first ever four time Larian key drop. Isn't that beautiful? And 150 points for a uh, undertasked streak. I do know you can do it in the cave for double that, like 300 points, which is really good, but I don't have it unlocked yet, and we're all out of points, and I just wanted the pet first. I was just kind of CBA even like bothering with the cave, you know, it's just always clamped, let alone during this well timer, so to say, you know, during this little mini event where everyone is doing Blood Slayer. Um, just didn't seem like the best idea. Also, we got a Terror Orb, Threats, dude. Mystic Burst Joke, that's the guy that destroys my asshole in Hunger Games all the time. Um, yeah, grats to him. Let's continue. Two more minutes, and unfortunately the elixir is gonna wear off. I don't know at what time we're getting a new one. Would have been nice if it had already reset earlier, so I would have been able to do an extra hour. Let me check the timer on the well in the first place. An hour, 11 minutes, so I would have been able to do another full hour if it had been claimable already. I don't know, it, it might... I'm hoping it resets in like 9 minutes. That would be insanely cool. Because then we could still get like 4 times Blood Slayer points. I mean, is that worth it? Or is it better to just save that elixir until the next time a well pops up, you know? Might be able to just do 2 times Slayer points for the rest of the uh, well time. Oh nah, the next elixir is in 5 hours, so that's not gonna happen. I got 34 Laren keys in that hour. Obviously we got the pet for only like 2 or 3 Slayer tasks, but... You know, is it decent, nothing too crazy. We also got like two figure rings, I want to say. Maybe a third if I missed one. No, we had two. We had one in the bank in advance. So two rings as well, and a couple of small drops. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, pretty nice. And obviously the pet itself is a big progress uh, part right there. Just gonna do another hour with half Slayer task, and while well, the double points are active. 